Hi, it's Wanda. So I just used these colors on another painting and I did a layered cup and flipped it. So now I want to do a dirty cup and see what happens because I love the colors. I just want to adjust the proportions a little bit. I'm going to use the same cup that I just used and see what happens. I think I'm going to put some bronze in. Pour that down in there and let it fall in. Just a little bit of this. More of this than I used last time, I think. Because I love that espresso. Maybe a little bit more bronze. I'm trying to see how much paint I have. And it's up to right about there. So I think this will be enough. Hope this one turns out pretty. One way to get those corners covered. They're such a pain in the neck. Okay, I'm gonna pop some bubbles. I debated on putting some silicone in this. Decided not to. Well, since I have that blobby looking thing right there, I'm gonna stretch it down. Still got a little too much of that light color all in one place. Hope I do have enough paint. Okay. I like this one too.
I like this one too, but I guess it's a good thing I did put some of that light in there because I needed it for contrast. There's that edge. Try to tilt it back down a little bit. That way. Still have a little paint on here. Hmm. So I think I better leave it alone. Uh, get it back centered. I like these colors. Different. Not my usual blues. So I will take the camera down and show you a close up. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I invite you to come back, watch me the next time, see what it is I'm up to. Sometimes I plan these things out in my head. Sometimes I don't. Today I just came down here and started looking at colors that I could use together. And um, like I said, I really do want to do a triptych. So I think I want to do three that are 10 by 20s to hang over my fireplace. So I will give you a close up. Thank you for watching. Okay, so this is what I got. I think that one little white looking cell right there is just sticking out like a sore thumb. But I love this contrast up here in that corner. I got some lacing, some cell type action, and I love these colors. I think these colors look awesome. So this is how it ended up. Probably throwing my shadow on it. The lighting down here is just so weird. But that Anita's bronze is kind of an orangey gold color. It's It reminds me a lot of the Xanadu gold from Chroma. And I do like that weird color that I mixed up. So I think it went well with it and with the espresso. So thanks for watching. So I thought I'd show you how this one dried. The gold is is very muted actually when you look straight at it but if you turn it a little bit it really came out so i'm happy with this one i think it turned out cool and now i'm gonna go try to pour one that has a little black in it i think so thanks for watching so sherry at sherry's life had asked me to show you all how the back turned out after I decided to tape it a different way because I forgot to do it at the end of the video. So let's peel it off and see what happened. Still got a little bit right there, right in there. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I only had, actually this is not paint. This is where the gesso came off of the canvas. This is one of those little 10 by 10s from Michaels. So um, that's how it looks. It did come underneath just a little bit right here. I must not have had it pressed down tight enough, but it still looks better. I mean, it looks it still looks good. It just went to the edge of that and then it stopped. So, that's the first one that I did. And here's the one for this video. Let's see how it did. Well, it didn't come under the corner there where that overlap was. There's a piece of the canvas.
You know, one thing I have done, and I think the tape is still on the back of the canvas. I did a big one, and I taped the back of it, and then I took the time to go with white paint over the edge of the tape so that it would seal it. And I still haven't peeled that off. I typically don't peel it off until I varnish it. I'll just wait until after I varnish it, and then I peel it off. But so right here on this one, I had a little place right there and a place right here and a little place right there, but it's doing better. It's not as much that's coming through and in and around. And it actually worked on the corners where I pressed it down to keep it from coming through. So I think it looks okay. 